Hello everyone, Rishi this side. So today we'll look into a problem which you might have also faced while working with Figma. You may have created a card, maybe a vertical or horizontal, and you may have made it responsive as well, which means that if you are using multiple instances of that variant and you are using it in a layout where it is resizing according to its parent, the problem with this is everything is working as expected except for the images so today we'll solve this issue where we will be maintaining the aspect ratio of the images this becomes especially problematic if we are using auto layout so today we'll solve this problem with the help of a text layer you heard it right i said text layer with the help of a text layer we'll solve this image aspect issue in the responsive layouts so uh, let me give you an example here so let's see what's the width of this card it's 244 right so let me just select the text layer here and let's resize it to font size 244 and you can see our images are working fine as well so let's dig deep and learn the trick behind this truly responsive card designs in Figma. Let's get started. So let's say you are going to use a vertical image in your design. We will be covering a case of horizontal image as well later on. So let's say for now we are using a vertical image and select this image let's put it into a frame hit command option g or control alt g to put this in a frame and let's rename this one to image container and let's rename this to image only so let's take the text tool and click in the image container and we need two characters for this trick um, right now I'm using XX you can use anything make sure to use a monospace font because if for any reason you wish to change your two characters the spacing will not change and whatever calculations will do here it won't affect if you change the character so for now let's use XX so let's try and understand the logic here which we have used to resize the image with the help of text layer our font height should match with image width and font width should match with the image height and we should be able to derive these values based on the font size so how can we do that so let's select our font layer and let's try to do the match here so our font height should be equal to image width so our image width is 205 pixels so let's see we can either do it manually from here but that won't be fruitful because we want to use font size to derive the font height and font width we want to change only one parameter and get the values to match with the image width and height so one small trick you can use is if you change the line height to 100 percent so notice this here r font height is matching with our font size so one part is done so right now if i change it to 205 pixels our font height becomes 205 which is matching with our image cool now next step is how to derive the font width from the font size and it should match with our image height so our let's see our image height it is 273 pixel 33 let's round it off to 273 and let's select our text layer and we want to match this width with the image width so by default you will have a letter spacing of zero so we'll try to increase the letter spacing and we'll try to closely match with our image width so 273 which is almost matching with our image width so that's how we'll derive both font width and font height based on these values so let's see things in action 
so one last step we need to do here is let's rotate our font layer and let's align it to the top left corner so right now if you see our width is 273 and height is 205 and our image width is 205 and height is 273 so they are almost matching so let's do one more thing here select our image container apply auto layout and now select our image layer and make this absolute position so in absolute position it won't adhere the auto layout we'll make it to top left and let's hold shift and select these constraints as well so from all four sides it will stretch to the image container and for the image container let's make our width to fixed so right now if you see our image is also resizing with this so let me just control z so remember we need not to change the height for the container we'll derive this based on our text layer so in case you are not seeing your text layer on top by default figma has a layer stacking from bottom to top we need to go to these settings and select canvas stacking from last on top to first on top so now that your text layer is visible here okay now let's say i have resized my image container to 150 pixels and now let's change our font size to 150 pixel so you can see our image container is driving the height from our text layer and our image is also resizing properly and once you are happy with the result you can select the text layer and reduce the opacity to zero and let's lock this layer now let's say you have a horizontal image and you want to do the same thing with this image as well so we'll use the same steps let's select our layer command option or control option g to put it in a frame let's rename it to image container so let's select the text tool add a text add two characters here and let's try to do the same match here fonts uh, font height should be equal to image width and font width should be equal to image height so our image width is 309 so our font size should be 309 and we are keeping line height 100 percent so it is matching with the font size 309 and font width should match with the image height which is 162 so let's see here what are the adjustments we need to do in the letter spacing so right now it's 411 so let's reduce this and let's go into minus line height and it was i believe 166 right so 66 percent almost equivalent to our image height and now let's rotate this one so the beauty of the text layer is even if you go line height in the minus direction the width won't start increasing in the opposite direction so in that case we are fine with letter spacing in minus as well so after rotating you can see our image width is 309 our text height is 309 image width is 162 text height is 167 i think we can change it a bit more 68 162 and 161 so let's zoom in a bit let's do the same thing let's hit auto layout let's make our image absolute positioning and let's add all the constraints 
and let's once again change the layer stacking from last on top to first on top and select our text layer let's reduce the opacity nice so now if i reduce the image container our image is reducing with it and for the height we need to select the text layer and 207 let's feed in the same value in our font size 207 let's see what's the issue here okay so instead of fixed height we need to use hug content and we need to change the width as well to hug contents nice so let's resize this container here 350 let's change our font size to 350 and this is matching the image aspect ratio so now let's convert this into a responsive ui card so select our first vertical image container let's zoom in a bit here and let's put it in another frame command option g or control option g and let's rename it to maybe game card and let's add a game name here let me just resize the text layer and let's use some different font rubik maybe let's remove all the other styles auto let's reduce it to maybe foreign for now and let's make it medium game name and let's resize the game card a bit and put our game name in the game card container game name and maybe some description or developer name let's rename this layer to dev name remember to use the keyboard shortcut control r or con command r to rename the layers and let's reduce the size to 11 and maybe font weight to light and let's reduce the opacity to 70 percent and let's move it up move this down and let me just pull out a button component from our library let's use the button and let's change it to play now and let's add an icon as well change it to play maybe field cool. so now that we have everything in our game card layer so let's hit auto layout and maybe reduce it to 4 pixels and let's let our image container layer give it some corner radius maybe 8 pixel let's turn on the click content and now we need to set some constraints here so for all the body elements inside the game card let's select everything and let's change it to fill container so that whenever we change the width of our container our image text and button should also adjust their width so in our button we have the structure something like this that we have another instance here that for that one as well i need to change from hubs to fill container so now that you can see our responsive card is ready let's do one more thing so what if our game name is a bit bigger and we need a couple of lines for that so let's increase the height here just double let me just 
write the actual name and board of board and let's do one more thing going to an additional details here in the text layer so let's add this truncate text so in case we have much more longer name it will truncate something like this so let's rename this to game name okay our game responsive game card is ready let's convert it into a component now let's draw a couple of instances here by holding alt or option and dragging copies out of it so right now i think we have already changed the width so that should be the original one 150 i guess okay so now let's select all the cards and put them in a frame call it row and let's select all three of them and change from fixed to fill so now whenever we change the width of our parent container our game cards will fill their width according to the parents width and we are keeping the spacing between the cards is 16 pixel so now if you want to maintain the aspect ratio hold control or command and you can see a uh, text layer is getting highlighted here so if i just expand here you can see if i hold con command or control our uh, text layer is getting highlighted here select all the text layers here let's first see the width of the individual card it's 186 and hold control or command along with shift and select all the text layer and what was the width i forgot it 186 yeah so let's change it to 186 so now you can see our image aspect ratio is maintained let's do one thing let's rename this layer in the master component to image size So I hope this has helped you to create your own responsive version of cards with maintained aspect ratios of their images. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye bye.